Hello, everyone. So with this given maze, uh, as we have seen, there are these many eight possible paths for a given maze. And hence, uh, we also seen how uh, the robot takes uh, a selective path at every given junction. Now, at the end, this is going to record a path like this so this is the recorded path now let's have a look at what are the various possibilities of optimizing a given path now one thing is very clear in this case that whenever you encounter a b uh, kind of a pattern like uh, you have uh, a b here you have an l and an l before and after b so similarly you have another path called lbs then you have sbl then you have lbs so it's a meaning that wherever we have a B, it's a meaning that it's a redundant path and that can be optimized. So wherever we encounter a pattern in this recorded path, like X, B, X, where X stands for any kind of a term, it would be R, B, R, or it would be L, B, S, or it would be S, B, S. So let's have a look at it. These are the eight possible paths uh, for a left-hand wall following algorithm where most of the things are based on left as you can see here we have l l l l and l and l so almost eight left directions we have taken so just by looking at the recorded path you can easily sometimes uh, identify like which algorithm was followed wherever we encounter l b r we are going to replace that x b x pattern with a b wherever we encounter with an l b s we are going to replace it with r and so on we are going to replace all these things so this was the recorded path uh, in a previous slide. Now, whatever highlighted part you are able to see in every iteration that will be replaced in the next iteration. So the recorded path has the first encountered XBX pattern as LBL. So here we have LBL, which should be replaced with an S. So after replacing LBL with an S, here we have the next path as S and the rest of the things remain same. So the next occurrence of XBX is LBS. LBS must be replaced with an R. So we have replaced LBS with an R so that the LBS is replaced with an R. It now becomes RBL. Similarly, after replacing RBL with B and LBL with S and SBS with B and SBL with R, the final path that must be followed for following the optimized path by the robot is going to be R and L. That's what we have seen. So if we start here at first junction, move right, and at next junction, move left, and then reach the destination. So this is where the robot is going to halt. So that's how we optimize a given left hand wall following recorded path by replacing these patterns with these available eight path optimization techniques. And then finally we get this path. Now the things seem to be really good and simple whenever we are talking about the theory, but when we are about to program this in our microcontroller, then the things uh, can be simplified definitely by distributing the task into multiple sub processes. So first thing would be to record a path by using programming language called embedded C that we'll be performing by using Arduino ID in our next video. And then the recorded path has to be optimized. And finally, we need to go for a second iteration by giving an indication to the user so that for the next, uh, I mean, for the next iteration, the robot has already optimized the path and it will be following the uh, RL direction for our next instance. So that's all for this video. Uh, I'll show you how to integrate this particular process of left hand following uh, algorithm and recording the path and then optimizing it for a smooth and a rigid uh, optimized path following in the final iteration in our next video. Thank you.